Now, just as a heads up, Arboretum is not the uh, the best map when it comes no, to staying no, no, no. Look at that damage. Look high that. on the malaise meter. Can definitely get in trouble here. Oh no, I knew it. Crap. So that elite has a very specific way to kill you. Hey everybody, just a super quick interruption. According to YouTube, only about a third of you are actually subscribed. If you do like this video, consider subscribing. And of course, you can always unsubscribe later. Either way, enjoy the rest of the vid. And we have the brand new Cocoon. We measured that on the tier list. It was pretty high up on the tier list. Giant Whistle. Ice Armor. Ice Armor there to make sure you don't make a mistake. And then Wings of the Crow. This one I'm kind of confused about. I'm not sure if Slimy's around. But I don't exactly know how the Wings of the Crow is incorporated here. But we'll, we'll figure it out one way or another. This is Colorless Mode. That was the last thing that we kind of screwed up in our first attempt was that I never got a colorless Hokuto's bow. So now we are making sure that's going to happen one way or another. Hold on to your hats, everybody. This is it's going to be some high level gameplay trying to learn how to parry. So that elite has a very specific way to kill you. Um, you all know Rampagers. What Rampagers do is that they they roar and then they come for you. But when it's an elite, it will roar and then it'll go and then stop. And it stops because it's going to charge up the um, special ability it has. And then after it charges, it immediately swipes you. And as soon as I did the parry, I knew it was over. I had, I'm pretty sure I had a skill I could have used and I was supposed to just run. Because, like, I knew that that was going to be a problem. I'm going to run that back. Uh, do I have a switch? Yes, I do. We have, um... I have everything except Xbox consoles. I've never had an Xbox console a single day of my life. I need to try to parry that laser one of these days. It's pretty early, so I can try it now, unless it dies. Alright, rip. Oh, I don't have a PS5. I forgot PS5 supposedly exists. Alright, we're doing it. We're getting back in the game. Used to own original. Tried to do the cocoon. Original X bone. See, that looks pretty good. Just played Munch's Odyssey and Ninja Gaiden. No, I never no, played no. any of the Look Ninja Gaiden damage. games. We're dead. So I think it did one parry on the laser. But it doesn't make the laser go away, so I end up getting hit by more of it. Yeah, I think we have one person in the chat that has a PS5. <laughs> Confirmed, at least. Could be more of you. How you all got access to that, I have no idea, but wish I were you. But you know, it's not the end of the world. Just like your parents used to say, just because Billy has a PS5 doesn't mean you need one. Oh my God, I pressed every wrong button. Just because UFG Blaze has a PS5 doesn't mean you need one. Thanks, mom. 
All right, got our food. Let that thing die. I missed the parry. Now you also can't like double tap the, co the cocoon against most monsters. Many of them do actually attack too fast to do that. Of a night shield bash is the hardest thing to parry. Honestly, I just parry the first frame that it's even like looking at me. It's almost like the attack speed of the monster is extremely high for some reason. So you may as well just do the parry immediately. Susie has a PS5, someone said. Susie's got all the consoles on lock. In the display case. Like that, those are life goals right there. I got the Wii U back there collecting dust. I know how it is. Did I roll under that? Wow, we are not getting the 30. I think I rolled under the bullet and completely avoided it. I was kind of sick. All right, let's, uh, let's go back. Not getting a no hit kind of bad. Especially, um, to start off your run. You lose out on a lot of bonuses. That you have gotten from the, uh, door. So that means I'm probably gonna have to buy a weapon. If I was playing for real, I may have actually bought a weapon earlier. Um, like, in one of the shops. But, because this is kind of a block-only build... I feel like it doesn't make sense for me to buy a weapon right now. Okay. We'll try this again. Now that I have the Bloodthirsty shield, maybe we can see if the dot from the Bloodthirsty makes sense. Maybe YOLO? I should just use the health pot, to be honest. How do you get all the Scarecrow outfits so fast? Um, so it helps that I only play on 5 BC. Does not work. With Bloodthirsty Shield. Interesting. Um, so that means every time I got a kill, I got a uh, skip. Wait, I actually have the best Hokuto bow. I have the one that does poison on hit. Or Toxic Cloud, rather. Toxic Cloud is much stronger than Poison on Hit. So the Hokuto, as you see, can kill everything by itself. Like, I don't even really have to sh parry anything, because they just die. There we go. We're actually 100% back. We got our uh, green amulet. Looking good. Uh, playing Into the Gungeon for the first time in a while. Forgot how cute it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Yeah, I actually... Always hated Into the Gungeon for the longest time. But then I ended up playing it for YouTube. 
And I have a much higher appreciation for that game now than I did before. They nerf mushroom throw? Yes. They fix the angle of it. Horizontally, it's still kind of bad. But when you are not on the same, like, horizontal platform, it always tries to throw it above you. So you can see it arc downward. But when they first came out, they just freaking launched it right at you. <laughs> If you didn't see it coming, then it's a too bad. Yeah, and we have options versus the uh the mushroom boys. Okay, now we're in the uh now we're in the zone. Okay, so here, obviously the Mushroom Boys are right above me. But see the arc? It like always goes above you first, which is really nice. And sometimes I just go to this map whenever I have a shield. Uh, if you keep electric shield, should this be good for Mama Tick? That's the plan. Even if this build isn't very good for Mama Tick, I kind of want to fight Mama Tick. That's transforming. Not bad, not bad. What is the image for B. Bring It? It's Hand of the King. Again, I apologize. For the lack of uh, artistic talent. I did that one myself. But maybe if I do like chat said and get the, <laughs> the $2,000 Wacom with the digital LCD on it. Then maybe I could make something happen. Ooh. Early parry? Did I screw that up? I mean, I must have screwed it up, right? I got hit. But yeah, from the look of it, counterattack works with the actual aura on your thunder shield, which I think is honestly kind of massive. Wow. Okay. See how I missed the parry on that? But even though I missed it, I still got like a fake wave of denial off. Which I think is really, really good. Did you all know you could jump through that? Yo, back it up. Alright, so far so good. iPad Pro is sweet. Maybe what I should do is ask um our buddy C Koala. Pretty sure he has an iPad. Ask him if drawing on it is as good as we uh, hope it is. That way I won't waste my money buying an Apple product.
emotes look good, but it's tough to make it out. Yeah, and that's where I guess professionals come in. Like being able to tell something's hand in the king just by staring at it. It's a lot better than us noobs, what we can do. Wow. Um, every enemy got much less scary over time. You mean with this build or just in general, Blaze? Because I still am scared of Slammers, the Bluebirds. I hope I'm not cheating in uh, Slimy's build. I don't know if Slimy said that I can have a poison on hit Hokuto. I mean, that's gotta be fair, right? Game's hard enough as is. Eat the baguette. Yeah, I think that's happening. Not yet, but it's happening. Yo, let's go. We're not dead. <laughs> we're, we're surviving. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, what there the it is. Image? See we're the dead. immediate attack? Like, it makes you think that it's not going to do anything, and then all of a sudden it just teleports on top no, of you. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. Yo, thank you for the damage, everybody. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. Looking the wrong way. Not bad, not bad. I actually think Slashers and Miasma are top tier. I could definitely see that. Oh, wait. This was a tiny Arboretum. I don't know how, but we... I feel like we cleared this really quickly. Okay. Get out of here. And the king... And everything else is pixelated. Hard to make out full HD drawing. Unless you already know. Yeah, so I... I know I was saying that I drew it myself. But I guess technically I did not. So... Ooh, the bleed propagation. Is that better than Thunder Shield? No, 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 no. Look Rank at that nine. Damage. We're dead. Let's try it. Maybe I'm supposed to put that in the backpack. It's fine. We'll get another Thunder Shield. Um. Yeah. So there are wallpapers that motion twin does for for what for their animated trailers and for the steam patches so this hand of the king is actually from an update and it may have been called the hand of the king update and then i did stuff <laughs> to make it into what it is right now hopefully that doesn't Deduct points from me overall. Uh, good to see you, Orions. Anytime you all are able to stop in, even if it's been a while, so happy to have you, um, checking in on us. Maybe. I wonder if you take Wings of the Crow just to clear the curse. I feel like that's cheating. But I mean, it's Slimy's build. I didn't put the wings in here, Slimy did. I just don't know what it, it's really there for. Oh, 
Ooh, where in the world did that come from? Hey, but we got Wings of the Crow, though. I actually... How did that die? <laughs> so that thing spawning in the first point, like, you already knew the game was over. Like, I didn't know that that was there, and I probably could have gotten swiped by it. I knew I should have taken Wings of the Crow. I shouldn't have done it. Just started at Hades last weekend. Nice. Like, no scroll if you need the, uh... The instructions, the guides. I have no guides for that game. But I can pretend like I know what I'm talking about. And maybe that's good. Or you might be fine. You might not need any assistance at all. And then I'm the one asking you for help. Let's do this parry. Okay. Gotta really think how I want to play this. That was dangerous. Okay, one more. Just in time for Giant Whistle. Perfect. So now if I wanted to play Ice Armor, I think I could. Oh, look at the worm go. It's pretty legit. Okay, so I think Hokudo killed something. See, this is what the giant was was for. Ice armor can't help you with that. You will need help with Hades. Thank you. <laughs> I have my worth back. That's all I wanted to hear. I'm useful. Why did I drop the poison Hokudo? Because I wasn't sure if the damage on the regular Hokuto bullet needs to be increased. Like, while I'm looking at it, the poison cloud might be more valuable than having, like, a stronger dot. Coming from the, um, the Hokuto itself. But it's just me testing it. Like, best case scenario, it does awesomely. Worst case, we <laughs> beg the game to give me another. Oh, wow. That thing just came out of the ground and tried to smack me. That parry was actually just for the knife thrower. Secret down. I'll come back. We're, like, right before the shop. Wow, the flaming trail is kind of bad, huh? We in trouble, chat. And there's an elite slasher. Why didn't I have the the reset on the cocoon? It's kind of interesting. Huh. As I said, I need to disinfect a little bit more. And then I'll be able to go backward. Oh, 
Oh, that was a big freaking zombie that just knocked us both off the platform. This is scary. Oh no, I didn't mean to shoot that. There's two. Oh, this is actually like kind of intense right now. Uh, does Giant Whistle only hit one mob even if they're stacked? Yes, but it knocks the others away. But as you see, only the hammer took the damage. So just like Cocoon, it's really nice because even if you only get the one target, you get some benefit on everything. Level 7 Thunder Shield. Alright. Uh, Scorpion Tail Attack does more damage than normal. Yeah, Scorpion has always been like a super strong monster for almost no reason. I guess I shouldn't say no reason. I'm sure it's supposed to be like the player learns instantly that they are not going to ever get hit by this again. Okay, we're going to take a quick Stroll. Someone said there may have been a secret. No, there's one right no, here. No, no, no. Look at that damage. We're dead. And then make sure there's not something else. See, this is uh, a little bit of backtracking. 100 bucks or so. Not bad, not bad. Add rewards to pet Buster. If I could get like another camera setup or something like that, we might be able to do some cool stuff around that. But not quite there yet. All right, last mutation. So I've actually really been liking what doesn't kill me in these parry builds. I think this thing is low-key really decent. Um, the other option is to go with Spite and like actually have a full parry build, but I don't know if you really need the Spite anymore. I'd almost rather bring in Soldier Resistance, but if I'm taking Soldier, maybe I just take what doesn't kill me. Let's try Soldier for a little bit. What happens if you put the ice armor in the backpack? Only weapons can go in the backpack. No skills. All right. Oh, I didn't reflect any of that. Woot woot. Woots in the chat, Dave the Shade with the T1. Definitely thank you for that. They tried to shoot me through the platform. Okay, that Timo is actually screwing me up. Why is it trying so hard? I mean, I guess that's kind of like toxic to say, right? Why are you trying so hard? Thunder Shield's really good on this map. So long as you have something you can parry. I 
I hate trying to parry those. I feel like it doesn't work for some reason. Got it on the cocoon. I think the Wormets killed that one. Get out of here. This map also has a curse, so very deadly curse coming up. Luckily, we do still have the... Whoa. Luckily, I still have the giant whistle. Not gonna lie, I am a little scared. Wow, I got shot again. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I got hit. Huh. Sometimes I feel like those guys just go right through you. If you mean the blow gunner, absolutely. If you mean the spearman, absolutely. If you mean anything in Dead Cells just goes right through you, very much agree. Because the same thing happens to me. No, no I did no, not have the cocoon. That damage. We're dead. Luckily, there is a food shop on this map. And there is a curse, as I said, so at some point, we're going to have basically zero health because we're cursed. Just got to get an understanding. If I had to get through this without getting hit, Oh. Um, now, for those of you who are not on um, 4 BC, one thing that's happening here is that monsters are spawning. Wow, I can't even check my phone. Monsters are spawning due to the malaise. Which, in my opinion, makes this, like, actually really scary. Get the level 10. Even though I can probably find one for free. I think it's fine. Oh, legendary. Winnable. Surely that's exactly what we need to get through the game. Yeah, there was a, a beep on my phone. Someone might need me. Oh my god. Alright. Um, how are we gonna do this? I can just leave. As I said, there's a food shop on this map. So I can definitely buy a new health pot. And maybe that's what the game is telling me I need to do. Not troll. Green Firebrand is surprisingly decent. Probably not going to do anything with it. Fire actually, not fire, green doesn't have a lot of access to fire. So if you see a green fire brand, it might be able to work in your build. Basically the same way that um you would be running ice shards. You feel like the music when you're playing sounds weird and distorted? Not at all. Uh, we've been assuming that's a Twitch thing because it 
only ever happens when people come in and say that they have issues with the sound. Just gonna grab that. Even though we do technically get our malaise reduced on the boss. I don't really want to deal with more random enemies here. This map's bad enough as is. Oh, I think that's the curse. And this must be the exit. No? Where on earth is... Okay. So if this is the curse right here... Yep. That means we have to go down, and preferably I'd like to kill the tick before I have to deal with the curse. For some reason, like, actually doing that tick while cursed is really bad to me. Wow. Rip, no hit. There's just monsters everywhere. Like, I want to leave monsters, but they aren't going to let me. Okay, at least I have these. And a couple above me. So I think we're fine. Wow. Again, shout outs to everyone in the chat offering their assistance. I do have hours in the game, but that doesn't mean you all can't say anything. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, I haven't even gotten the 30. There's an exclamation point that keeps showing up below me. I think. Yeah, down there somewhere. Oh, you all probably can't see because my camera's on top of it. Oh my goodness. This is where you wish you had the um, poison on hit, Hokuto. Because the flaming trail does actually nothing. There we go. Issue is that if you jump and shoot, like it doesn't give you all the fire below your shot. It has to be like, say, three feet off the ground. Like if I double jump here, no flame. Single jump, no flame. You gotta be directly on the ground. Ducking is nice. Ducking is not always available. Uh, bunch of nerds. Good to see you. Um, any idea on good builds for 4 BC? Depends on what you like. Brutality, I'm still a big fan of Sata Stiletto Open Wounds Phaser. If you have the DLC, Snake Fangs has been feeling, like, awfully good lately. Wow. No! How could you? There's a happy birthday right here, too. It's this freaking Teemo. Oh. I forgot. I can do that. <laughs> Also cool. I'm gonna assume that um, Slimy does not want us to play Acrobaty Pack. That definitely seems like cheating.
You all wouldn't tell Slimy, right? If we, you know, had a little fun. Just between us, us pals. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, I am... I'm at 60%, so we may as well just buy the food. It's a lot of monsters. Wow. Uh, what exactly does it do? So the backpack gives you access to items that you stored in it. So I can actually drop this and use it. As if I had it the whole time. Uh, but then there's also a couple of mutations that fire bullets directly from your backpack or parry with the shield directly from your backpack, those kind of things. Some weapons do very well, some don't. It's kind of, um, over time we've learned what's pretty good and what's not so good. It's not 30 monsters, right? Yeah, no way. Um, and the red one, which is Porcupine, may be not as strong as the other two. But chat has been telling me some builds with Porcupine that might be kind of cool. Wouldn't mind trying it one of these days. Alright, let's head in here. It took me so long to get here. Um... Hope you beat 4BC was custom mode to get used to malaise. Not bad. On lower levels. There was a time where that was broken. Where no matter what you did, it actually turned malaise on. I think you can... Did I get hit? No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. I got hit, didn't I? So... On my screen. Okay, now we definitely got hit. Her claw was stuck in the air. And I was thinking to myself that I can definitely do something. But apparently that was a lie. Okay, I, I'm not doing anything. Ugh. So hard to get the no-hit. Oh, I should've stopped that with Cocoon. That one's not that bad to stop. There we go. See, fighting Mama Tick herself is not that bad. The only thing is when you're trying to get a no hit. So, like, imagine you were cursed and you had to fight Mama Tick. Like, that would actually be awful. I would not wish that upon anybody in chat. Making everything look easy. We're having fun. That's all. I died twice earlier. Yeah, I actually thought that the lightning would keep her perma stunned in eyeball mode. But then I think I got hit by a different tentacle, and that was kind of weird. But you know what? Good job, game. You got me. Caught me sleep. Okay, I'm going to try bringing in what doesn't kill me now, since I took a couple hits. I feel like my health is just so low. Still. Graveyard. Graveyard with this build. Not that bad. Because we have the giant whistle. I think anything else would have been kind of bad. Oh! What? I don't know what boss I'm going to. I feel like the easiest thing here would be the giant with this shield. Rip. Um, but then... 
Cocoon versus the Scarecrow could be kind of nice. I don't like going Timekeeper because Timekeeper, I don't want to leave running around if I can help it. But I do know some people that love going to Timekeeper with a shield. So I'm sure either one's fine. There we go. Alright, we learned how to play the game. We might be able to get that no hit after all. Um, it's a lot of junk. Maybe we can drag a rat up. Nope. The worm. So I'm actually realizing one detail that makes what doesn't kill me not amazing on this map or in this build rather it's because like I don't parry regular melee attacks that much a lot of these monsters are just dying to my thunder so I'm not healing uh, does what doesn't kill me work with armadillo pack and iron staff yes it does we actually got a chance to try that which makes me feel like What Doesn't Kill Me is actually a really fun mutation. Can't take it all the time. Like here, I think maybe the health was the right move. Are you going to attack me? Is this thing trolling? Uh, kind of social distancing. What? Yo, somebody's getting COVID. <laughs> we gotta take that person uh downtown. Somebody's gonna get hurt doing stuff like that. Call the cops. Didn't recognize me in the hat, thought I was a friend. Not cannibals. Uh-uh. Cannibals are not our friends. It's one of the worst monsters in the game. Alright. Good job, worms. And now I don't have my giant whistle. Might have been a mistake. Pirates are worse than cannibals. I could see that with certain builds. Like if you're playing a ranged build, sometimes cannibals not that bad. But pirates will still shoot you. I don't know where I lost my parry. There we go. Trying to get my health back any way possible. Maybe the most dangerous way we can. It's a weird dead end. What? Yo, thank you, Worm Man. So nice. It's 
See? We're fine, chat. <laughs> We're in a good place now. Graveyard. All I need is to get like 50 more parries and then we'll be fine. Find a toxic bow and we're good? You mean the one I had in the beginning of the game? That I lost? That I just threw away like it's nothing? Mm -mm -mm. By the way, if I didn't say after this run, we are playing the new game, Foregone. Definitely excited to do that. What in the world is under here? Wow, that bomb was sick. This doesn't feel half bad. And I'm just the pilot. Someone else submitted this. Took me three, no, two deaths to learn it, but... We're here now. No! Why they go for the Inquisitor and not the, the big thing? I actually could have used that to show what, um, Hokuto's bow does. I actually have a lot of people who ask what Hokuto bow actually does. So, if I find another masker, meet the foggers, I'll show you. There's the curse. Can I get a monster? Preferably 10 bats. It's an interesting dead end. Okay, this is money, I think. No, nothing in there at all. Wow. Yeah, you could do exclamation point 15 wrong star. To know what we're talking about. 15 days of streaming. We just have to figure out what we're going to do for Saturday. I'm not entirely convinced Skull is the move for Saturday. I think I'm going to get this curse and die to that thing. It has aggro of me. If I do the giant whistle, it might go for the bat. If the giant whistle goes for the bat, I actually die. Would I try Valheim? Um, I mean, I'm looking into it, but no promises. I just can't, like, I don't know what is good. If I were to stream the game, I, I feel like my Valheim might not look very good. But then again, I don't know what a good Valheim stream looks like. Might have to do some research. All right. So we're going to spawn in, do the giant whistle. If the giant whistle hits the bat, just leave immediately. Okay. That's fine. Inquisitor. Nice. What else we got? So scary. All right, we did it. So let me show you all. That thing went right over me. That's why I always jump when I do the parry. Oh, the fogger's gone. I killed it. 
See how the giant whistle went for the wrong target? We don't want to kill the bat with the whistle. I, I get it. Thank you, game. But there's a better target there. Research means watching Valheim streams. Yes, it does. Which sounds not fun. <laughs> but it's research. Research isn't fun. We're doing homework. So like just like your just like your parents says, homework's not supposed to be fun. Just do your job. <laughs> Uh no. All right, I was worried there was a second curse. Like I said, if I can find one more masker, be kind of nice cuz that can show you all the hokuto how it actually operates. Wait, there's a crap ton of monsters right there. What in the world? How does this place keep going? Alright. So, Hokuto's bow. The way it works is that you fire a bullet and it marks a target. Come on. There we go. Um, as you can see, a marked target just by itself doesn't do anything. And the damage that's dealt was like maybe 600 damage or so that I saw. I, I don't remember the number. Um, but that's it. Now, when you combine that with damage, if I had a good way to just hit it, you'll see no, a yellow no, number fly off. Damage. We're and the yellow numbers will actually be Hokuto's damage. That activates on the fire. So the fire itself was doing 50 damage or whatever the number was. And then Hokuto was doing 1,200. See, 100 damage from the oil. But then the Hokuto by itself does 1,000 damage per activation. Which is like maybe every... Every what? Half a second or full second? Probably about half a second. So if you think about it, with a single dot, Hokuto's damage does more damage than the dot itself. If you say, oh, well, you know, my... My what? My balance blade. My balance blade does, like, really good damage. Hokuto doesn't miss. It's activating every 0.5 for a thousand damage. If you can do a thousand damage every 0.5 seconds without having to actually like dodge around and play the game, then that's that's pretty sick. Almost S tier. I actually think it is an S tier. Almost went right by that. All right, we're good to go. Um, the next map, Caverns. I don't think we go Sepulcher. Undying Shore. <laughs> that also seems bad. I think you go Caverns here. So Sepulcher, we don't have Wave Clear. So the issue with that is we end up dying to mobs. Undying Shore has scary monsters in it. Yeah, and another curse. We don't want to see another curse. Curses I have failed too many times. Um, Undying Shore has scary monsters in it. They, they can be parried. Cavern, I think, has things that are a little easier to parry. And then you just use the giant whistle and everything everything you can't parry. So I want to say that's the right way to go about it. Uh, good luck with the rest of the run. Thank you, Grumpostle. Definitely happy to have you here. And happy you're able to uh, say hi to everyone in the chat. Got to refill that water. 
Now, the last time that we did this build from Slimy, we ended up dying to the spoiler boss. So it was actually strong enough to get to spoiler. Parrying is actually pretty strong in Dead Cells. It always has been. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. Oh, wow. I We're did dead. that way too. Okay. You just giant whistle that. All right, so Earth Shakers, kind of scary. I assume those, the skeleton, was a scary monster. I'm sure it is. Crap. Another one. As you see, you can parry the bird using the cocoon. It's actually pretty easy. Yo, thank you, Grumpossil, for the hydration. That's getting instant nerf. Shh. Is this game like really loud to you all? No, like no, no, Cavern's no. music is legit, but this is kind of uh Ooh. You can't parry that. I love Cavern's music, but that was a little much. Sounds fine. Alright. Ooh, I did not get the reset on my cocoon. Yeah, it's like I'm listening to a home theater. This has full bass and everything. Skills. Alright, I'd like to see a new giant whistle if we can help it. Cavern deserves to be epic. Caverns has actually been nerfed a couple times, for those who don't know. And way back in the day, this map used to have a guaranteed curse on it. And really, that curse I thought was the scariest curse in the game. And it still is very scary. We're chilling right now. Hello. What is with the monsters today? I feel like every monster is actually trolling right now. No parry? Ah. Aha. I see. Perhaps it cannot be parried at all. And I am merely just now learning that. Why was the curse so hard? Because back in the day, there used to be a lot more monsters on the map. They actually nerfed the number of monsters that spawn, as well as the density of the monsters. We'll let that transform. Oh, didn't kill it? See, it's really nice using Cocoon. I don't know why Cocoon is just really good. I mean, I know why. Because you can do that. Um... 
You know, I actually want all the health. In a build like this where you can make mistakes, maybe health is more valuable. Just like that. <laughs> uh, can I get above half? Okay, you can get me to half. Hard game, by the way. Come to find out. Another elite. Oh, look at the wormets go. See, with Hokuto bow, wormets no, are no, no, no. kind of decent. We're dead. They're just like another dot. Uh, thank you for all the damage, by the way. All the follows coming from everybody. I see you. I aggro the thing. All right, can I please get green? Swarm build? I think someone did submit an F rank build. That was the name of it. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. Uh, it's days away, though. Ooh. So Cocoon does not stop that thing at all. But you can parry the initial punch. Which seems okay. Alright, I need some parries. I need the hook up. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little scared. It was you, but you didn't put worms. Was it tornado and something else? I am very surprised I didn't just die. Wow, we are really testing this game. This thing is absolutely ready to kill me at any point. Why? Crap. See, that's why you need to use Cocoon. Oh, I just Cocooned everything. Demons, bombers, warthogs, doesn't matter. Dead Cells needs a shark weapon for Sharknado. A shark pet? Like, if we ever get another color added to the game? A blue color. We don't have blue. Add a shark pet to it. Think you have a better idea? You can have every F tier item enabled. I'm probably gonna stick to the main one because like Tornado and Barnacle is definitely enough information to go off of. Like the viewer would see that and instantly know that's an F rank build. Yo, Widsy coming through. Welcome everybody, I'm V.me. I am currently playing our main game, Dead Cells. We are doing a viewer submitted build. The viewer out there. Wherever they are, it's Slimy. I'm <laughs> gonna oust them right now. Um, slimy decided that, you know, we... We got too easy in Dead Cells. Gotta kick it up a notch. And the only way to do that... Is to parry almost every monster. Ow. And as you can see, parrying... Sometimes it's not always possible. But we're trying our best. And so far, so good. I do hope you had a good stream, Witsy. Last playing Terraria. That's one of chat's favorite games. You say 
Terraria and chat instantly like just pokes up out of the woodworks. Definitely hope you had a good, uh, whatever it is you do in Terraria, because I have actually only ever played that game for about five minutes. That's gonna die. Dang it. Oh my goodness, stuff is just everywhere. Ooh. Um, it's so good, not as good as you are at this, but pretty good. Well, I just have hours, that's all with C. But definitely awesome if you're able to have good games in Terraria. I didn't even know that was possible to have good games in Terraria. But anytime someone that I know comes in and says that the game's decent, that puts another, you know, little check in the box. <laughs> How many checks are required for me to play with a uh, chat? I can't say. Ooh. Almost got the sombrero. I can never stay at full HP. That thing is no, so no, tanky. No. Look at that damage. We're dead. It's actually kind of incredible. All right. Really, I should be using the whistle on it every single time. And like not even trying. Like me doing anything else against the uh, Earthshaker, it's actually me trolling. Um, what kind of games did I play before roguelikes? So I played a lot of Destiny, Destiny 1, a lot of League of Legends, a lot of Final Fantasy 14, lots of console games so really my big things were Sonic Generations and Mirror's Edge like just working on those Platinums for like all my life okay I was about to say I should be able to kill that with just an arrow might hop up might hop back on 14 Maybe get me and Jonas to play it. So, it's tough. It really is. Historically, I play MMOs with uh, Airless, with my wife. And typically, oh, I should have gone purple for the Hokuto. Typically, like if I'm gonna play one, or if she's gonna play one, I'm gonna play one and vice versa. Not to say that it's impossible for me to play solo, but there's just something about... Because that's that's what we have always done. We're MMOs together. And like if I were to not do that, I feel like it would... Devalue the MMO almost? Like have a missed opportunity? I will watch it though. I will, <laughs> I will watch you all do expert roulette all day. This is Madar's Whistle from Blaze Blue. Is that the BB? Is Madara from Blaze Blue? I, I guess BB could. Oh, Bloodborne? <laughs> I tried. Really early. Just whistle it. Some people were asking about Bloodborne. We do plan on doing uh, that Dark Souls 3 DLC. I could do Bloodborne, but I feel like that might be... Um... 
I don't know how good it will look on stream. Like, it's 30 FPS. If not worse. I think in some ways it's worse than 40. I mean, 30. See if we can get a better giant whistle. Damage to electricity. And poison. That's the hit. Uh, gonna head out, have a good stream. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for bringing your community in here. Of course, I didn't really introduce myself uh, besides the fact that we play this, but we also have 15 days of streaming going on. Or we will be on every day for the next 15 days. Just definitely not my normal schedule. Should be fun. There's a tool in Bloodborne where you blow the whistle and it summons a giant snake from the ground. See, I feel like I... I know for sure I didn't beat Bloodborne. I feel like I was really close though. And just like a lot of other games, I just sat it down and never went back. And that's definitely a tragedy. Travesty. Because the game is definitely great. Yeah, I'm gonna refill my drink right after this. Thank you, Saucy, for the reminder. That was you and someone else dropped hydrations. Not bad, not bad. We got... Actually, I don't know. We could either go giant or... The new boss, Scarecrow. What does chat think? Where are my yays in chat? Surely the yays know what boss I'm supposed to fight. I need more parries. So I can heal myself. Just tuned in, how's the 2.0 build? So I died twice, Slimy. Has nothing to do with you. Just it's tuned me. in, how's the 2.0 build going? Text to speech, I always forget about that. Thank you for the biddies, of course, Slimy. I do appreciate that. Appreciate the build, too. As I said... It's going... Very well... Until I die twice. Very early. Which is pretty good. Like, the earlier you die, the better. So we can run it back. But this definitely feels better. Definitely having Hokuto's bow as colorless is better. Oh, I missed it! I'm really surprised about the counterattack. I don't know if you know this, Slimy. I mean, it's your build, so I'm sure you do. I'm sure you are the resident expert when it comes to this build. But apparently, counterattack, which is the mutation that does damage when you attack after a parry, it appears to work on the actual Thunder Shield's aura, which is kind of cool. So, like, I don't even have to have a melee attack, it just does it. Okay, I think we're good to leave. I could use a new cocoon, so maybe we'll go and try to buy that. Um, Scarecrow, you haven't played Dead Cells in a while and you haven't seen it. Loris, you're not a yay. I do appreciate the, uh, the buy-in for Scarecrow. We got chat's money on the line right now. Only chat knows which way to go to get this no hit use counter attack 80 percent of the time when you play green wow hey i mean you definitely opened my eyes to it today open my eyes and my brain twice maybe three times if i go to scarecrow you're a big yay and <laughs> go giant johnny is the yay wow we gotta hook Johnny up. I apologize for not going to Scarecrow. I wouldn't go Scarecrow here if I needed the no hit. 
the cocoon's really nice versus Scarecrow because it's very easy to parry multiple attacks, even the ones that drop from the sky. But this is different. We're on a mission right now. The mission is to not get hit. After I've died multiple times, before we even got to the first boss, we were dying. So we're going to hook ourselves up. And I think we take networking. What doesn't kill me does nothing here. You can only parry one time on each fist. So each fist will give you 1%. And that's, well, more than 1%. But obviously nowhere near as good as dealing damage. So we're going to try... Blind Faith, Counter-Attack, and then Networking. 24% shared between the two fists. I actually think that is not that bad. So long as I actually uh, have enough bullets, because I only have two. Might be a problem, but you know what? We'll take it. Negative countdown. I wonder if there is a way to do that. Someone was asking if the second mutation, counterattack, only works off of melee attacks. It doesn't appear that way. Wow. I didn't have the timing. Ooh, I should try to parry that with Cocoon. That's safe, right? That's all I got. Technically, you can do this. Out of ammo! Oh, wow, that was really close. Ooh, got it. Oh, it doesn't work. Are you kidding me? There's no way. It, I even got launched into another crystal. You gotta be kidding me. After, like out of everything to not work, it's that. You have got to be kidding. How? I mean, I know there's two things. I know there's the actual slam, and then there's the fire. But I have blocked slammers. I have blocked bombers. I've blocked a lot of unblockable stuff in this game. And it appears that the Gigante doesn't appreciate the cocoon. It's actually awful. Big rough, I am so sorry, Johnny. I might have to have a 101 with motion twin right after this. Assuming they answer my phone call. All right, choose outcome. Now, what happens with the, the V-Bucks is that it gets disseminated amongst the chat. So, yes, it is 50k gone from one person, uh, but then it, it funnels out into the rest of chat. Um, now, I don't really have anything I need to test. Well, technically, I have some things I need to test against Hand of the King, but... After seeing what just happened with the giant, I'm going to assume that Hand of the King Super Slam cannot be blocked by the par by the cocoon. You can block probably one technically like a bullet of the slam, 
but probably not all of it. All right, reset back. We're going to take this into the next biome. If I get really low, I use the health pot. I'm always trying to learn something new, and I do pretty much learn something new every single time we play, which is awesome. Like, after so much time, you'd imagine it's not a lot left. But in all honesty, like, you all make it possible for me to learn more in this game. Gotta roll behind, unfortunately, to get the Hokudo. Did any of those hit? Didn't look like it. That's why I want to try to parry. Had to roll that because I had no idea where he was coming from. You know the cocoon? Not half bad in this fight. Oh my god! You gotta be kidding! Who actually landed the hit? Oh, that didn't actually give me my reset. He has a pixel of health. The zombie got me? Oh. I thought we were fine. So in this game, you can like do double parries. And the idea is, is that the bullets coming down, the zombies jumping at me. I jumped into the zombie to try to like ensure I would get the parry. And I guess the Wombo combo was too much. Oh my goodness gracious. Are we going to get any no hits? It's a parry build. Like, you're, you're supposed to parry everything. Apparently, it's a lot harder than uh, I made it out to be. All right, not bad, not bad. There's never not a time to test. Like, that's kind of our, our thing, is learning every single stream. You want to take something away from the stream. And today I took away Zombie OP. Strongest monster in the game. You didn't get hit from Hannah King, but from the zombie instead. I, I was there. I, I synced it myself, Elliot. <laughs> that was pretty good, though. This game is definitely throwing us curveballs today and or learn to parry. All right, so Shante, I'm gonna get a little more health. I'm pretty sure we have tried Cocoon versus Shante before, but I can't really tell you all if I remember how effective it is. Should be able to aggro right here. Okay. Really? It doesn't kill it. Wait, what? How do you all feel about that? The fact that it doesn't deal damage. I mean, I know that you're probably not supposed to do anything against that attack. So even the fact that it makes you invulnerable is probably, like, OP. But come on, Gabe. The game's hard enough as this. Care to explain the story behind Shantae? Shantae is a genie. A half genie, from what I understand. Um, 
way forward i think is the name of the developer makes a game called shantae half-blood genie i think they're up to number five. Oh, wrong button um i've never played any of them but the concept is that it's a genie and we are fighting against something that kind of looks like it's on a magic carpet. I mean, maybe not. Maybe that's a reach. No cocoon. But that's what I've called it. And I, I like it because I've never played the game. And that makes it like extra special for me. Get a good parry here. Or not. Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't have the cocoon. I lost it. Who did I lose it on? Oh, I'm not keeping track. I'm over here talking about freaking Shantae and Genies. It's such a different play style. Having to do just... As you all know me, like... Typically, the stuff I play, just standard range builds, standard brutality, Russian, standard survival, where you're actually, like, one-tapping every enemy. I apologize, Slimy. Slimy, I have died twice to your build before killing the spoiler boss and i think this was probably the one but i did greed out by not use the health pot if you all were in my shoes god use the health pot if you die without using all your health pots then you know if i die without using all my health pots then you know um you all can see that it does with cocoon it does actually do stuff so let me know in Twitch chat. Zero out of ten. We gotta rate the build. Zero being that parry builds, it ain't happening. People come and talking about parry being OP. Parry's like not as great. Super overrated. Or ten out of ten, where we, you saw how we used the cocoon on the librarian. That's the genie, the Shante. Cocoon versus the birds. Hand of the king, you can knock all of the bombs away. Get the parry, get the lightning, fire the Hokudo. Lightning just kills everything. Gotta be good. Gotta be a 10. 